What's up everyone and welcome to our course on Next.js. My name is Nimish and I'll be guiding you through the next two or so hours in which we'll learn all about Next.js, how to build static web apps using Next.js. So for starters, what is Next.js? Next.js is simply a framework for server rendered React apps. It's based on Node.js and React frameworks and it's used to create static server rendered apps. So we generally don't use this to create anything super complex. It's a really minimalist framework. So why next.js versus some other frameworks? Well, for starters, it's super, super easy to use, especially for those of you who don't have too much experience developing web apps. There are minimalist design principles applied to it. So if you're all about pumping out the um, basic designs that look good and sleek, that is Next.js in a nutshell. It's also very, very similar to React. So if you have experience using React, then Next.js will be a breeze to you. It's also super easy to install and deploy. In fact, we don't even have to download anything extra. We can do everything through NPM and deploying the app is as simple as just running a few commands, even to an actual static hosting service. So for, let's get into the tutorial itself. Who is this one for? Well, anyone who wants to develop static web apps with minimalist design, this is great for you. Anyone who's looking for an easy to use framework to develop web apps, this is great for you too. We are expecting that at this point you have some familiarity with React and basic HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We'll kind of be going through some of these principles fairly quickly and focusing more on the next.js aspect of things. So what are we going to be covering in this tutorial? Well, we have a lot of topics, starting with first installing Next.js and running a project, then navigating between pages, passing data into and receiving data from a URL. This allows us to pass data from one page to another. We'll learn how to mask URLs to hide unnecessarily, uh, unnecessary pieces of information. We'll learn how to style pages with our own manual CSS and also using external CSS libraries like Bootstrap. We'll learn how to then export an app into HTML and also how to deploy an app to a static hosting service. We'll be using Zite now.